Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Barbara Streisand was always destined to be a huge star. She knew that she had the voice as Oprah Winfrey once called it. When she was young, as five or six, she went on to star in multiple Broadway shows and movies as well as direct, produce and write. In addition to reprising her stage role of Franny Bryce in the 1968 film adaptation of Funny Girl, Streisand has worked on such huge film projects as the 1976 A Star Is Born remake and 1983's Yentl, has released a jaw-dropping number of albums, communicating with Wars in 2018, at least at time of this writing, and has long enjoyed one of the most loyal fan bases in the world. Not to mention, Streisand and husband Jane Broilin have boasted one of Hollywood's most enduring marriages since 1998. Basically, on paper, it seems as though Barbara Streisand has it all, but while she's nothing short of a legend, no path to success and happiness has been a far from easy for the multi-talented star. She began from humble beginnings and tragedy struck her family when she was still a baby. From there, the singer-actor has overcome many obstacles in both her professional and personal lives and often reflects on these obstacles in high-profile interviews, speaking candidly about her identity, career, family and relationships. Here are some of the more difficult life events that have made Barbara Streisand who she is today. Barbara Streisand's scholarly father, Emmanuel Streisand, died at just 35 years old with when the future star was 15 months old. For a long time, Barbara's mother, Diana, told her and her brother, Sheldon, that Emmanuel had died from working too much, which led to a cerebral hemorrhage. In reality, he suffered respiratory failure, probably induced when morphine was injected into his neck to halt an epileptic fit, according to People. Emmanuel's ultimately death understandably left a gaping hole in Barbara and her family's life. I always felt that I never had a father, she told people in 1983. There wasn't even a picture of us together, only his books down in the cellar, tied up with string. This fact made Barbara Streisand stand out among her peers. I was known as a kid who had a good voice and no father, she once explained to Oprah Winfrey. But just because Emmanuel wasn't physically present throughout his famous daughter's life doesn't mean he didn't influence her. Revealing to Winfrey that she visited a medium who claimed to be able to call up their father on her brother's suggestion, Streisand said, For 39 years I hadn't even visited my father's grave, so first I went there and took a picture with my arm around his tombstone. It's the only picture I have with him. Then we went to meet with the woman and let me tell you the table moved. Feeling totally connected to her father, she experienced the experience left Streisand to take the plunge and direct her movie, Yentl. After her husband died, Diana Streisand kind, Barbara Streisand's mum pretty much checked out from her family. Emotionally, my mother left me at the same time. She was in her own trauma, Barbara told People. Speaking to the Daily Mail, she further described her mother's mental health by saying, Prozac dulls your senses. When my mother was on it, she forgot to be angry. She had dementia as well, so she forgot that she was always very angry, but that pill really helped. Still, Barbara doesn't resent her mother, who she understands was unhappy. I think that there are parents who don't really like themselves, she said to the Daily Mail. They don't like their offspring either. My mother meant well, and she never hugged me or said I love you. I'm more of a touch than my mother. Instead of being overly affectionate, Diana used food to establish a connection with her daughter. As the way we were, she explained to Oprah Winfrey, For her, love was food. When I graduated early from high school and moved out of the house at 16 to study acting, she would scout to my place to bring me half a cantaloupe or some chicken soup. Diana Streisand Kind died in 2002 at the age of 93 in Los Angeles, according to the AP. At the time, Barbara Streisand's publicist stated, The daughter of a cantor, she had a beautiful singing voice, a legacy passed on to her daughters. Thanks for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment and subscribe.